The wind's blowing so hard I can't ghost ride today. It's just holding the truck. <laughs> That's crazy. Hopefully it doesn't bother y'all throughout the video. Back guys, Nick up here at Maple Motors in Innersville, Tennessee, and today's test drive is this 1971 Chevrolet C10. It's in purple. Got a aluminum added 400 under the hood. He looks awesome. Very clean up under the hood here. Needs a fan shroud for protection. It also helps and pulls, cools the motor. Got pinstriping on the fenders. Both of them. You got disc brakes in the front. You've got, what we got back here? Drum in the rear. It's a big old fat tire. This thing sounds beastly. And overall on the outside, it looks pretty good, but I'll be going over all the flaws that I can find. I'm gonna look for dents, scratches, chips, whatever, so you know what you're getting before you get here. There's detailed pictures at maplemotors.com. There's financing and shipping available on all of our cars on that website. For now, sit back, relax. It's about that time. Let's go for a ride. Before we take off, we'll look around the interior and check everything out. Place those bets. Do you think the horn works on this one? Get her started up. She does start up good. There's a switch under the dash. And uh, I found out that goes to the electric fan. You'll see me find it at the end of the video. I did pick it out the flaws first, but I put it at the end. Always do that. Keep everything in order here. Around our interior. Turn signals are popping up on the dash there on both sides. Tack is working. Show you the mileage. Wipers. And they're off. No radio on this one. Blower motor. Switch is stiff. It's not working. That's a sticker. And the horn. Are you ready? Nope. It's under the hood. Not hooked up. Let's hit the road. See how she runs and drives. All right, guys. Let's go. Got my seatbelt on. Try reverse here. Extra drive. Easily kicks the tires over. No effort at all there. <coughs> this place has been empty for a little while, so I think I'm going to take advantage of it. It's literally right next door to the lot. We'll pass Maple Motors here. As we're on the way to the gas station, because our gas gauge is on empty. take up when I first hit the brakes I can feel they're grabbing a little bit more up here in the right front right see how it's pulling me there as far as steering it's going straight tight steering there throttles great the brakes though watch the steering wheel see that pulling me 
over that way. They're stopping. I'm just grabbing a little bit. Engine temperature, oil pressure, all that's in good range there. I'm gonna pull it in and get about $20 worth of premium fuel. We're on E right now. Let's see if the gas gauge works and I'll be right back. Good deal. All right guys, I got $20 worth of premium fuel on this ride. You put it in here, it goes in behind the seat. And just to show you, I'm not joshing you. My name's Nick. Let's get in here. Ugh. Hey, check it out, man. Gas gauge works. Let's keep rolling. let's roll out here so far so good I mean we got 40 pounds of oil pressure we're at 160 on the engine temperature it's not really getting up there at all the electric fan hasn't even had to kick on here we go when I do touch the brakes I can kind of hear the like a disc sliding on one so the brakes may need a brake job. Definitely making a little noise up here. I think it's up here in the front left. Which is pulling on the front right, so I don't know. Yeah, it's still doing that too, you see it? off in the middle of the road here. Well, let's try to. Hadn't had an opportunity yet. That was a lawnmower. Hold on. Let me get past this guy. 
Still nobody behind us. All right, slowing down a little bit. She runs strong. going down the road a little stiff there on the bridge felt like in the rear a little bump coming up here I'll point it out for you give her a listen that was the rear Yeah, I told you you can hear suspension on this video. <laughs> Some are just better than others. This was not bad, but it definitely felt a little stiff in the back. We're getting ready to pull into Maple Motors. Be sure to stick around. Picking out the flaws it is coming up next, guys. Thanks. Hey guys, I'm gonna walk around, pick out chips, scratches, dents, whatever I can find. If you haven't already, go to maplemotors.com and look at those detailed pictures. So far, I really like this truck. Coming around the front end, the chrome on the bumper looks great. Same with the headlights and the grill. Little chip there, little chip here, coming down the side, a little speck there on the bottom, a little scuff here, touch up marks, little bubbles. Tires look good. Back down the fender here, big spot that's been touched up. There in the middle too. Bubbles at the bottom of the door. Chip there. I don't know what's up with the weather here lately, but it has done nothing. It just brings storms and wind in every day. Little dings. And I can't do nothing about the wind right now because I can't really put a sock on this. It's got a wind filter. marks but I like my camera because it's so small and versatile the only issue is the wind right now chrome looks good and I guess that bugs me because I know I know it's blowing into the camera bugging y'all there's something on there it looks like drywall or something try to get it off could be old wax a little scratch there spots <clears throat> and of course if the wind went blowing so hard it wouldn't even affect the camera a little bit never really actually affects it little cracks up top touch up marks let's look at our front windshield in pretty good shape little white marks there on the front that looks like it'll come off coming down the bed rail scratch there a 
up on the back. You got a lot of chips up top. Touch up marks. Crack there. Small little bubbles there at the bottom of the tailgate. And of course your rear bumper has been replaced. Nice and clean. Stick that on there. Drop the tailgate itself and check it out. Got all kinds of touch up marks. In the bed there, there's some dents, little, little patches, corners, some up here. They've done the fenders, and they did it pretty well. They look nice and clean. Little scuff on top there. Oh, that side, definitely got some chips. Some holes here, must have had something mounted. I'm going to shut this. Get some chips. Little scuffs there. Hole here. Checking the bed pretty good here. And since it's got so many dents and it looks like some kind of coating, like paint. Coming down this side. Mark there. The fat tires on the back. Some good looking wheels. Like scratch there. Touch up marks. Chips on the edge of the door, little bubbles. Chips there. Little spots at the bottom of the door too. And guys, sometimes I'll just zoom in on stuff that's obvious. But I've had some people call me out for that, so I guess I gotta say something, a little chip there. I zoomed in on it, you called me out, you seen it, I mean. There's my explanation. <laughs> I've had it happen before. When you're in an area where there's just a bunch of little defects, instead of saying chip, 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 I just kind of zoom in and show you a little gasket there. Some silicone around the bottom. scratch there something about purple has grown on me here lately on cars and trucks it's just got a good look chip there in the corner door handles in good shape it's not brand new but it still looks good touch up mark there pitting on your mirror vent window looks like they replaced the seal the, the chrome on it it's got some chips spot there really small compared to some of the other stuff that I was seeing the front here too front windshield Little chip right in the middle. All right, we made it around this truck. Let's go ahead and open her up and check out the interior.
edge of that door has been repaired at one point. Little scuffs on the inner portion of the jam there. Carpet in this one looks good. The seat in this one looks great. Oh, except for the emblem there needs to be stitched back on. If it was me, I'm not gonna lie, I'd just take this whole piece out and restitch it because everything else looks good. It looks like that's the only fall point there. It's not perfect either. Tint on all the windows, headliner looks great, visors, decent shape, except this one's a little bent, looks like the hinge is stuck over there and they pushed it up too hard. They were in good shape, this one's like new. Somebody just said something about that. What are you hiding under the ass is? Oh, nothing. <laughs> That's funny, the comments I read on here. Y'all come up with some good ones, I'm sure. Little patch in the glove box, I think. Unless somebody just left some tape there. It's kind of weird. Yeah, it's not even a patch, it's just random tape. Needs it over here, should have put it over the hole there. It should. Look it down here. side are easily working. Got some paint runs on the dash there. see something. I haven't done the test drive yet, but there's a switch here. Going back in there. Yeah, that's connected to the fan. And that's the on position. We haven't been getting hot or anything. Of course, I haven't test drove it down the road yet. It may just be on a thermostat, but it looks like it's wired straight to the switch. We'll keep an eye on that throughout the test drive. Or shut down. Ships in the front. See some of these little specks on the hood. Touch up mark there. Bugs. It's like the touch up mark there. Also here. 
Guys, I appreciate you watching. If you're new to the channel, hit subscribe and share this video. That helps me out more than anything. There's detailed pictures, financing, and shipping, maplemotors.com. Of course, you can check us out on Instagram, TikTok, Snapchat, Facebook. You'll see us everywhere. I try to post different content for you for your entertainment as well. All right, guys. Thanks for watching. I'll see you later.